welcome to this edition of Credit Matters TV. Today I'm joined by Sebastian Dani, insurance analyst for the German life insurance sector based in Frankfurt, Germany. Good morning, Sebastian. Sebastian, we just published a report on the so-called ZZR, the additional reserving requirement German life insurers have to set aside to meet long-term policyholder guarantees. The ZZR reached 32 billion already per year end 2015. Can you please share some context with regards to this very material buffer and the build-up in recent years? Thanks, Walter. Yeah, because of the low interest environment, the ZZR was introduced by the German regulator. The idea is that German life insurance companies build up additional buffers to better enable them meeting their future guarantee obligations. And you're right. Since 2011, the ZZR has steadily increased to about 32 billion euro by year end 2015. So how do we expect the ZZR to develop uh, over the next years then? We expect that the ZZR will further increase. In our base case scenario of flat long-term interest rates below 1%, we anticipate that one of the main drivers of the ZZR, the so-called reference yield, will further decline. And the insurance companies need to build the ZZR for those interest generations with a guarantee rate above the reference yield. This means basically the lower the reference yield, the higher the ZZR. And based on our calculations, the ZZR, our rated life insurance companies, would increase to almost 80 billion euros by year end 2021, with peak years around 2018. However, however, we also assume that in this scenario, the enforced average guarantee rate would, would reduce to slightly above 1% by year end 2021. Given this ver very large amount you just ma mentioned, can German life insurers finance the ZZR going forward? Well, first of all, Volker, let me say that we believe that our rate life insurance company will manage to finance the ZZR at least until 2021 in our base case scenario. And speaking about financing the ZZR in general, we expect that most German life insurance companies need to realize gains on fixed income assets to, to finance the ZZR. So they need to re reinvest in a rather low interest environment currently. Therefore, we expect that financing the ZZR will further constrain future earnings. However, we also think that the ZZR has quite some beneficial aspects. From our perspective, it's an important tool to reduce the, the guarantees in the life insurance spectrum significantly. By our, by our estimation, about 25 to 35 basis points yearly, at least over the next two years. Uh, actually, for many life insurance companies, the reduction of the average guarantee rate via the ZZR is greater than a decline in investment results, which means that for those insurance companies, the spread between the investment results above the guarantee rate remains at least stable. So, to wrap up, Volker, yes, financing the ZZR might be very challenging, but we also think that the sector benefits from the um, rather fast or relatively fast reduction of the, of the guarantee uh, requirements. S Sebastian, you just mentioned the, the use of the unrealized gains on fixed income investment as an extra buffer to finance the Z ZZR. But how about, about a um, scenario of rising interest rates then? Yeah, that, that's a good point, Volker. We usually regard a scenario of rising interest rates as economically desirable for the term life insurance sector. However, from a ZZR perspective, it might be quite challenging. On the one hand, the asset valuation reserves on the fixed income assets would immediately start to shrink, while on the other hand, the life insurance companies would still need to finance the sets it out. So in this scenario, we would assume that the insurance companies would broadly utilize the elevation, elevation techniques on lamp sums or annuity options, which already exist from this year on. Or, in extreme conditions, the regulator could also soften the, uh, the, the calculation of the sets there to ease the burden for the life insurance companies. Thank you very much to sh share your insights to today, Sebastian. For everyone on a great, greater detail, please check our report on the German ZZR on the Global Credit Portal. Many thanks and goodbye.